Hey folks, Jenner and Murgriffin here, and I picked up this week a Smoke Tech Chinese dual coil cardamizer tank. Um, this one in particular, I believe there are other vendors who have them. Um, this one in particular came from totallywickedeliquid.com, but it's those one that uses the special Smoke Tech cardamizers with the little ledge on the bottom. And it is mostly an entirely plastic tank, I believe. But they are selling them in spiffy tube colors. You know, this isn't a sticker like the liquidators had that you could put on there. This is the actual color of the polycarbonate tube and it looks great on my little red bowl. Other than that, I mean, they really perform like a dual coil cutter runner. Which is to say pretty good for the convenience of toting around, you know, six mil of juice with you. They come in either six mil or three mil. Um, I got the six mil model. Let's go take a look at the packaging and uh, the instructions and how to put one together, fill one up, and give it a go. So I ordered my dual coil smoke tech cardamizer from Totally Wicked. <clears throat> and one thing Totally Wicked does amazingly well is packaging. You get little boxes that have your replacement cardamizers, two to a little box, all pre-wrapped with, uh, you know, Mr. Devil on them. So there's our spares. And then to the main box itself. Totally wicked eliquid.com. It comes with, oh my gosh, instructions. That is the first time I've ever gotten a tank that had instructions. Get your bottle of juice. Take the mouthpiece off. Fill the cardamizer. Push it to the side. down and to the side a little bit, dribble the juice down the side, push the tank down, put your top back in, vape away. But, you know, for new folks, it's great that it actually has instructions. So, let's take it out. Now, they're selling these in multiple different colors, and it's actually the tube is colored. It doesn't have a sticker on it, it's actually that color clear tubing. Now, it looks all nice and metal, but it doesn't feel like metal. It feels like, you know, fake crumbed plastic, which is fine. It still looks nice. Um, a also plasticky feeling mouthpiece. Now, the, the thing about the Smoke Tech ones is they've made this little ledge. And is that not a tiny, teeny, tiny little hole? They have this little ledge on the end of their otherwise normal cardamizer. As far as I can tell, these are the same as the regular dual coil cardamizers they've seen. It just has that little ledge on the bottom, and then the bottom cap of the tank has that sort of little indented ring so that you can't push the tank any farther down on the cardamizer than then it goes. Now, if it were me, I might have put that on the top because if you think about it, Demod will keep it from going too far down. It's too far up that's sometimes a problem. So anyway, how I fill a cardo tank, I dribble some juice and I slowly rotate the cardo as I'm doing it so that the juice is around the edge and isn't going in the middle where that little thicker bit of fiber is because those are where the coils are. And I kind of do it till it looks like a 7-Eleven slushy in there. See, it's all nice and wet. Let's get into a little water. And then I shake it. And I do it off to the side so I can shake it really hard until it looks a little drier in there and not so much like a slushy. Then I do it again really, really fast. <laughs> and then we keep doing it until you get about 20, 20 so drops in there. Keep shaking it, put a few more in, keep shaking it, come back. When you've got that all filled and ready, you slide on the tank. Now, I don't slide the tank out on the way. You want to be able to see the top of the tank below the top cap. And what I usually do is I try to push it with my finger because we're going to be dribbling the juice down the side so that it doesn't go in the cardo. I kind of push the cardo with one finger so that it's kind of at an angle inside the tank that makes it easier to drip the juice down along the other side. And you can see that going in once we got it filled to near the top. A couple more drops in there. Messy me. Then I go ahead and push the tank all the way down. Put your mouthpiece on 
top. And you have a constructed smoke tech dual coil cardamizer tank in one of many pretty assorted colors. That happens to look really great on my red ball. I gotta say, for the convenience and the ease of use, I get a lot of mileage out of cardamizer tanks. And for $19, this is the cheapest one out there on the market. And it's from China, but it works. Um, you need these special dual coil, dual coil cardamizers that have that ledge on the bottom. Um, so they may come at a premium compared to the regular ones. Quickie addition, I noticed as I was getting the video ready to go out. Um, I, I, I did call out that I thought the ledge should be on the other side because the mod is always there to keep it from being pushed too far this way. And that's where the ledge is on the cardamizer. It should really be on the other side because they're very loose. And I don't know if I made that point really clear, but you know, it can pop off this way really easily. The ledge is only keeping it from going down too far. So you do, I mean, the drip tip's keeping it in place, but you know, the drip tip can pop off and you're, if your tank flies all the way off, you're going to have a big mess. So you have to be a little careful of that. They are a little loose, but they're pretty cheap too. Most of our standard cardo punches, which we've been getting lately, the little boxes, aren't going to work because you have to put the cardamizer in here, connector in first. And that little ledge is just not going to go in that little hole. That's what she said, I know. Um, however, uh, from the Siam place um, in the UK and a couple other places, there's a new one out that's just a small stainless steel ring. I think Bruce has them at Clouds of Vapor. <coughs> um, and it goes, it's just a little ring that goes around the cardamizer so you can move it independent of that flange and then just, it's just a little screw and it pokes a hole and should be perfect. So just be aware of that if you get them. That was pointed out to me last week by the Coffee Nut. Dual coil tanks. Gotta love them.